Hey everyone, Kaban or Money 456 here, recording another video. So yeah, um, today I'm giving you another news update. So I have some more news on the Nintendo 3DS uh, slide pad accessory. And um, as you probably already know, Nintendo um, is going to be releasing an accessory that um, will give the 3DS another slide pad to kind of um, have dual analogs, I guess you'd say. And um, but this time, Nintendo has officially confirmed and told um, official Nintendo Magazine that it's planning to release the new 3DS attachment. And that it's going to be called the Expansion Slide Pad. And that um, the 3DS will clip into the peripheral with um, the circle pad sitting to the right of the face buttons. And that the system also has a new, like the new um, peripheral also has a new L1 button. Don't have any info about that or any more info. So I guess it's not going to be uh, like have an internal battery or anything like that. I guess it's just going to kind of be like a dock and have like the L1 button there but um uh should be pretty interesting um uh it says here that uh um according to well according to a monster hunter supervisor uh Ryozi Tsujimoto um the add-on provides a good grip on the system and um it's going to be a secret weapon which will allow you to play the game with the same feeling as playing monster hunter try on the Wii so uh I don't, I mean, I seriously don't see the big deal with people complaining about the 3DS slide pad. If you don't want it, don't buy it. It's that simple. Just stop acting like friggin' stupid. I mean, really. But, um, uh, IGN, if you want to read a bit more, IGN, ha IGN has a really, um, um, very good article, actually, about the Nintendo Circle Pad and how it's really good. And I think it, I, I'm actually 100% completely agree with IGN with this article so check it out IGN.com should be on like the front page just talks about how with this new slide pad it'll expand the horizons for the 3DS and while Nintendo didn't expect probably didn't expect that they would need another slide pad um, they probably just decided like they just probably decided to go on and do it since I mean today you need a slide pad which is probably why a lot of, which is probably why Nintendo's kind of been making Nintendo 64 ports because the system is more powerful than the GameCube but you know they're focusing on Nintendo 64 ports probably because the Nintendo 64 had one analog and that's limiting the 3DS and it's kind of showing with how they're just doing ports of N64 games so I think it's good that they're going to be having a dual analog if you don't like it don't buy it like I've said and, you know, I think it's supposed to be um, relatively inexpensive. Um, Nintendo said that we'll find out more info at a later date. So, um, probably September 13th at the Nintendo 3DS press conference. So, it should be pretty interesting. Can't wait for that. Then, I uh, have some more scans on the Monster Hunter Tri-G. And, uh, the game looks pretty good, actually. Um, I mean, what do you expect? Monster Hunter games are usually good. And that, um, Kanani Fujioka. I believe um, the direct director of Monster Hunter um, has said that the game is entirely in 3D and will even include a new port side area designed um, specifically with the 3DS's 3D capabilities in mind and that he all um, he's also said that uh, it's going to have like touch screen that um, the touch screen will um, have various panels that are useful for hunting and that the player will be able to choose which of the panels to display on the screen. One such of these touchscreen panels is a target camera panel that automatically turns you in the direction of the monster who you're hunting um, when it's pressed. So Monster Hunter, I mean, it looks like a good game. It should definitely kickstart sales in Japan because Monster Hunter, when it's in, uh, when it's like in Japan, Monster Hunter games are just sell like hotcakes. So um, he also says, um, he also like, talks about the um, circle pad accessory that's going to be used with the game and that it feels really good in one's hands and um, is also easy to control and then he talks about how the main that um, the main monster uh, Blackie Blackie Dios um, has like will release a sticky and explosive goo like substance whenever it punches um, so players have to be aware of its location at all times and that um, he also confirms that there will be 12 weapon types in the game and it they'll also be usable underwater so like I said as you heard 
um, they said that the 3DS um, extra slide pad accessory is very comfortable in the hands. And if you probably saw my video earlier, I showed some pictures of how I usually hold my 3DS. If you look at it, there is just enough space to perfectly fit into my hands because the 3DS is really small in my hands. So, I mean, having that extra, like, bulk into it, I guess you'd say, is actually, would actually be more comfortable and what should probably, um, uh, enhance the gaming experience i think it'll be even though it looks it looks ugly it looks like something like something from like a sega like sega's old times like cd and 32x and all that jazz but the thing is is that it's not all about looks i mean it's still it still um should help game like it should help you like play games better and i think this nintendo will probably i think the reason why kid icarus is probably being delayed maybe is because Nintendo had this thing planned so that maybe Kid Icarus can also take advantage of the slide pad for lefties. I don't know, that's just my opinion, but that would actually be pretty awesome if they did do that so that um, left-handed people could use it. But anyway, that, and then I have some more info on Beyond the Labyrinth and some screens. It looks like a, well, there's a scan here. Um, you can kind of like get a few um, looks at the touch screen and like a different environment. So, this game looks really pretty, um, it kinda, it's not like the best looking game on the 3DS, but it is very impressive, it has a lot of nice lighting effects and stuff like that, so, um, should be a game worth looking into, and, uh, you're supposed to be, like, the girl is supposed to be a partner with you and is supposed to help you, like, get out of the labyrinth, so, um, definitely keep your eye out for that, should be interesting, so, Anyway, that's basically it, and, uh, I think, oh, also about, um, the Sonic Generations, like, uh, um, the Sonic Generations, uh, what is it? Oh, Special Edition thing? I plan to go on and just pre-order it in the UK if I have some extra spare change, and if I get a PS3, so that, since the PS3 has no region lock, I'll just go on and get the, like, PS3 version from the UK, buy it off Amazon, the UK and just have it shipped over. Now the shipping will be more expensive, but the thing is that it's probably worth it if you want that collector's edition. So thank goodness for Amazon UK. I'm just going to wait for them to update that listing, and I wanted to let all of you know that in case you did want to know, like if you did want to get the collector's edition and you live in the US. So that, and then um, stay tuned this Friday for my Star Fox 64 3D walkthrough. Um, I should be in probably like 30 or 45 minutes should be the next part of a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Walker and it'll be the end of the hero story so stay tuned for that and uh, my gosh I'm trying to remember what else I think that's basically it so like I've said the circle pad is not a big deal I think it's great it's gonna help Nintendo out more than anything and even though it looks bulky and it should have been on the 3DS in the first place. Nintendo probably didn't think they would it would be necessary. And then it just it at least it's not a brand new hardware revision. Because I mean seriously, which one would you be more pissed about? A uh, new 3DS coming out when you bought your 3DS already, or would you just have like a little accessory that's like ten dollars more that you don't even have to buy? So seriously. Stop being, stop just complaining and being wusses and having hissy fits over nothing. It's pathetic how the internet acts sometimes. But anyway, that is basically it. So um, thanks for watching. Um, please remember comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, please. Um, shows that you enjoy the video. So um, thanks. See you. Have a good night.